This is A game, fast acting, long lasting, with no side effects. Hey, all my Crimsonites, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel, where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly values, and celebrate our brothers. So, join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there, my Crimson Knights, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your host, femininity coach and author of the Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. So, you know, usually I have some type of video or article to show you. Not this time. It's just me and you today, black women. It's just me and you today, sis. We're going to talk about something because I want to take this in about three parts. Um, today, we're going to talk about why black women are the most disrespected, because when you get into any form of conversation with a lot of black women on social media and they don't want to be held accountable for anything, they often dredge up the brother Malcolm X popular quote, which was not his whole quote, but they usually dredge it up. And the quote that I'm talking about is when he said the most disrespected person in America is the black woman. The most unprotected person in America is the black woman. The most neglected person in America is the black woman. And this speech was delivered on, in, on May 22nd, 1962. Um, and at the time that brother Malcolm said that, you know, Y'all was still trying to be black women. Y'all was still trying to have some type of sense. And y'all was still trying to be a part of the culture. And culture meant something at that time. We were still in the midst of a civil rights uh, fight. And even though y'all was kind of low-key selling us up the river and we didn't really know it, the brothers didn't really know it, um, you still tried to have some semblance of unification with black people and black men in particular. Um, you hadn't, in other words, you had not completely sold out black culture. You hadn't completely sold your soul and you had not completely sold black men and black girls and boys under the bus. And let me just, let me just say something real quick. Y'all like to pull that quote out from brother Malcolm X but if Brother Malcolm X was in front of y'all, y'all would be calling him an ain't-ish Negro, just like y'all do the rest of the brothers, because he wouldn't be tolerating your mess either. He would be on somewhere uh, speaking about y'all to y'all and about how low you've sunk and how you have helped to sink black culture. So y'all wouldn't like him. Y'all just like that quote because you think that you can use the personage of Malcolm X as a way to obfuscate your accountability by quoting him. It's an appeal to authority, which is a logical fallacy. By appealing to a person such as Malcolm X and saying, well, this is what he said about black women. So he knows more than y'all ain't ish Negroes about blackness. So y'all need to take what he say and apply that to 2021. Well, I'm here to let you know, hyenas, it don't apply to you in 2021 because he had, in, in 1962, he still thought black women was black women and not genetically modified hyenas. Shout out to Danica Marie. Okay, y'all was, some of y'all was still women. It was a lot of y'all that was still women and he was trying to talk to his sisters. OK, but I doubt very highly that he would think of you as his sisters if he was to see how y'all twerks on tables and act a fool everywhere you go. And have babies all out of wedlock and then push the men out of the baby's lives and then kill the babies when the men get custody of the babies, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You understand what I'm saying? So y'all need to boop, knock it off. Sitting up here trying to quote Malcolm X when you would not like Malcolm if you were in front of Malcolm, just understand that. Moving on. It doesn't apply to you for several reasons. You, you don't respect yourself. Let's get into that. Black women of today, y'all don't respect yourselves. Y'all have so much disrespect 
and dishonor and lack of dignity for y'all selves that it's not even funny. And I mentioned the twerking thing and people would be think that, you know what I'm saying? Why do I go in on that? Why do I focus on that? I focus on it because it's such a representation of what black people, black women think of themselves and what they want other people to think of them. Y'all do that twerking and then get mad when people think that y'all supposed to twerk everywhere. When the regular women do it, the celebrity women do it, you're in high social status and you're doing it, you're in low social status and you're doing it. This is what you made as part of the culture. You made black women be these sexually objectified things that only know some, some that only know how to go somewhere and shake her butt. She doesn't know how to go somewhere and utilize her mind and utilize the brightness of her spirit to get things done. See, y'all don't know nothing about that. And so you created this entire culture of this based on disrespect of yourself. Because right now in 2021, you're in charge of your image through social media, through television, movies, and so on, black women are actually in charge of their own image. Because see, these little videos that go viral and all that type of stuff, this is not some Hollywood production everywhere. We're not in, in the 1950s where you can't control what gets pushed in the media about you. You're your own media in 2021. Black woman, you're your own media. And the stuff you put out about yourself is more telling than anything that, that Hollywood could put out about you. It's more ridiculous than anything because y'all don't want to upload these videos thinking it's cute and then get mad when other people think it's ratchet. And when we think it's ridiculous and when we think it's out of control. Then, then you want to come down and be like, well, no, y'all took it the wrong way. Y'all taking it too serious. You know, this ain't, ain't that bad, you know, but you the one that put your own image out there. Just like old girl that got uh, pregnant by uh, the, one of the fresh and fit guys. Then she put that stuff on social media and then got mad as to how everybody was looking at it. She was on social media and she had a whole other account where she was taking provocative pictures like OnlyFans type stuff, soft core or whatever, and then didn't want nobody to say that, didn't want nobody to bring that up. But this is the thing, these are the things that you put out about you. Ain't nobody got no gun in your head. She didn't like being referred to as Miss Cheeks, but that's the word, that's the title that you put on your social media. Nobody make you do that. Nobody's making black women make this image of themselves that's unfair to them. Y'all make y'all own image and you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Ain't nobody got to coddle that and ain't nobody got to like it. And ain't nobody got to, you know, congratulate you. You get enough congratulations for it. That's why you keep doing it. And then you want to come for people like me when we come up and say, oh, no, sis, that's not the business. You look stupid, ma'am. Not only do you disrespect yourself, you don't respect nobody else. How are you supposed to get respect, but you don't ever give it? Who do black women respect? Who do black women really respect? If you, Because if you don't respect yourself, first of all, you can't expect other people to respect you. That's number one. And then number two, you don't respect anybody. You confrontational with everybody. You will argue with anybody. You will fight with anybody. You will cuss anybody out. You will say the slickest, most shadiest stuff to your so-called friends. This is sometimes how y'all treat y'all friends, okay? You will be extra shady with your girlfriend. So I really don't want to hear nothing about no respect. You can't get respect when you do not give any respect. This is why in 2021, that quote don't apply to you. I wish y'all leave Brother Malcolm alone. Leave that brother's quote alone. Because that quote ain't got nothing to do with you. Stop riding off the coattails of your foremothers of the ones that, that was doing right by the community and that was doing right by her family and was doing right by black people. Stop riding on her coattails. A hyena show like to ride on the coattails of a lioness. 
You not your grandmother. On the one hand, you want to ride on her coattails about how you know upstanding she was and how much of an activist she was and how down she was for the cause. And then on the other hand, you spit on her for actually being down with the cause in her household with her black man husband that she was taking leadership system order and structure from. Then you want to call her a weak mammy pick me. Y'all got a lot of little names for everybody. So you don't respect anybody. You don't know really what respect is, disrespect or respect. You don't really know what those things are. Because see, to black women, telling the truth is disrespectful. Corrections are disrespectful. Pointing out areas of improvement, are dis is, that's disrespectful. You dishonor everybody. Nothing in black culture is sacred. But let's go back to the things that you think are disrespectful. When you get a correction from anybody, black men, other black women, sometimes your kids, you don't like that. You feel like that's disrespecting who you are. And that's not honoring you somehow. But I mean, I just want to know in the comment section if you think you're perfect. Are black women perfect? Because you sure don't want nobody to come tell you nothing about you and about what you need to do to improve nothing about what you've done to harm things. Telling the truth to you is disrespectful. You got plenty of people that think I'm disrespectful of black women when all I really do is sit here and tell the truth to you about you. Not gonna, you're not going to dope you up. I'm just not going to dope you up. I'm just not going to put you under anesthesia to do it. You're going to take this operation with no anesthesia. I don't even buy anesthesia. We ain't even got none. We ain't got no anesthetician or nothing. That part, we don't got that part of the insurance. We just give you truth, straight, no chaser. You can either take it or you can't. Your knees buckle. I suggest you hold on to the wall. That's what I suggest you do. Cause I ain't, I ain't got, I ain't got no place for you to lay down and put a cold press on your head. I'm just gonna eat you with this truth bomb and just let you stand there. I mean, I don't know what you want me to do because nobody has ever really done that because it's disrespectful and nobody wants to disrespect black women. Because we want to, the truth of the matter is the people in the what's left of the so-called community, which we really don't have that anymore. Let's just be real. We really don't want to have to say this stuff to you. It really should be so blaringly, obviously wrong that you just self-correct. But the vast majority of you don't have that type of uh, course correction in you. You don't got that in you. So you need somebody to come, but you know, pop, 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 pop you back into place. And you don't like that because it hurts your feelings. It hurts your pride. It makes your ego small to think that somebody should come and tell you what's going on with you. But that's, but that's real. This stuff is not disrespectful. And Brother Malcolm's quote don't apply to you today. It may have applied to a certain degree when he said it. You are so far removed from the group of women that must have been going through his mind when he said that, that it's not even funny. You don't have any resemblance to those women at all. Nothing in black culture is sacred to you. Nothing in your family is sacred. Your children are not sacred. You're not sacred. Your relationships are not sacred. Your families are not sacred. Your households are not sacred. Your spiritual value is not sacred. Your health is not sacred. None of this stuff is sacred to you. All of the things that you were supposed to do to honor yourself and to honor where you come from and to honor your people and to honor and uphold your community, you have put in the trash gladly. You twerked all the way over to the trash can and threw it away. That's what you did. 
you happy about it. And can't nobody tell you nothing about it. Because if we tell you something about it, you done with us. Anyway. Sound off in the comment section. Does this apply to black women that they the most disrespected? I actually agree that you disrespected, but not for the reasons that Brother Malcolm says. You disrespect it because you disrespect yourself. You ask for it. Sorry. Not sorry. Sound off in the comment section. Like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Once again, I'm your host, The Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonites. Hey, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And if you've got more to say on the topic, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to support our sponsor who so graciously supports this channel by clicking the description box and the link for A-Game at agameherbal.com. You can go ahead and get a 10% discount off of your next purchase using the code Kendra10. This has been yet another Crimson Cure production and I'll catch you guys on the next one.